Hey guys, it's me. So I was told months ago when I did my catalog um, collection video that someone wanted an in-depth look at this catalog and I am so, so terribly sorry that it's mid-March and I'm just now filming this, but I have been sick all winter, very busy, and basically I'm sick right now and I'm filming this just cause like I have not forgotten about it and I just feel really guilty about this being so late. And on top of that, I have surgery in like a month, so I, I just wanna do this. So here we go. Basically, it's the Holiday 2009 catalog. It's the oldest catalog that I have on me right now cause my 2008 catalog disappeared. Um. It says, make her smile today, help her shine tomorrow. And this is a really pretty shooting star application with the AG star, and I really like it. And AG started Boca. No, I'm just kidding. But, um, yes. It says, gifts in time for Christmas. Order by December 21st. Fresh shipping may apply. Four orders placed after 9-10-2009. Hey, that's my birthday. That's my birthday. <laughs> um, see order form for details. American Girl, follow your inner star. And it's picture number 39 wearing this really pretty dress. And actually, I was kind of admiring her updo. I don't know how they did that. And I'm sorry for any glares in advance. Because it's a, it's a catalog. I don't know how they did that. Because 49's hair is a pain in the butt with the layers and all that stuff. They probably inserted something in there. The cover picture itself, my phone isn't able to do it justice. But it's beautiful. There's really pretty stars. And it's just the bokeh. And snow crystals on the ice and it's just really pretty oh my god like everybody's here except samantha so we got felicity we got kirsten we got um molly over here so basically everybody who is besides caroline because she was now yet who's now archived um some of the best friends are probably in here too oh there's chrissa there's Cressa. Oh, wow. And all their old pre be forever outfits for everyone else is just nuts. Oh, there's Rebecca. Wow. This is nuts to me. Okay. This is like a time warp. I remember this. Oh, it says soon we'll say farewell to Kirsten. Well, that's like the only archival I really didn't care about thus far. So I'm sorry, Kirsten. Nothing against you. I just didn't bond with you in the way that I did with everyone else. So, yeah, no. <laughs> so, yes. Um,. Kind of excited. Oh wow. Okay, so giant Rebecca here. Look at that. Hello, Rebecca Rubin. Um, this is because she was new, so here's her old meat outfit. Oh my god, all those old little like wow. Okay. Um, so here's her old the old books. Wow, you guys. Okay, wow, I'm in awe right now. Okay. So it says, meet our newest historical character, Rebecca Rubin. Well, Rebecca, sweetie, you're talking about being retired. The talk about is, the talk now is about you being retired this year. So you're not going to be some new, you're not some new anymore. Anyway, Rebecca Rubin, 1914, the lively girl with romantic flair growing up in New York City. And it has like where she lives and all this information about her. So if you guys want, you can pause this and read it. Rebecca's very similar to me in the aspect that she's Jewish and lives, well, she lives in New York. I would love to live in New York for a year. That'd be epic. Um, and she's an actress. Hi. And she's Russian. Like, hello, I'm also Russian. Fun fact about me that you guys probably didn't know. Yeah, this is retired now. That's retired now, too. I own this dress. It's really pretty. I love the shoes. I use the shoes most for sure. Um... I have the uh, menorah, too, with the dreidel. It's very cute. And all the coins. Now I realize where the coins came from. I didn't, I just found those recently, and I was like, I don't know where those came from. Now I know. I do not have the coat. I wanted it, but then I kind of realized her meat outfit kind of looks like a coat. So, you know, I have her accessories, too. Her old accessories. It would have the hat and the um, other thing. I love that settee. It would be really pretty to have that with Caroline's Parlor, both of which are now... Actually, is her settee still available now? I don't know. You guys are going to have to tell me that. But yeah, I think her settee would be really, really, really pretty with Caroline's Parlor. And that phonograph is really cool looking too. But for um, $2,009, $44 is pretty pricey. And this trunk was $100. Um, 
for what it is it's still really expensive in my mind but the trunk is really cool um I love the vintage aspect of it now as an adult I really wasn't interested in it as a as a kid I was more interested in the sparkly dress <laughs> and the pearls and everything like I loved all the clothing pieces I didn't like the trunk now I'm not so fond of most of the clothing pieces and I think the trunk's cool you know that just shows how you grow up. <laughs> oh, I'm still in love with her bed. I really, really would love to have Rebecca's um, old bed. It has to be the pink one. I don't like the new purple one. Like, no, just go away. I would love to have Rebecca's old PJs too. With the, with the slippers. But I don't need the robe. That's the thing though. That's the thing I hated about Rebecca's PJs. Like, hi. No. Her kittens are cute too, but I didn't like the eyes that were sewn on. I thought they were rude. I don't know. Um, this has been long since retired, but I love this outfit. I need to put this on somebody, but it's spring now, so probably not going to happen. Oh, that lunchbox is cool. Why didn't I get that lunchbox? That's cool looking. That's really cute. Why didn't I like that back then? That's adorable with the little hanky hanging out. I like it a lot. Julie! If you guys want, you can pause this and read about Julie. Oh, you know what I should do? We should read these and like answer each question. So let's go back to Rebecca really quickly. What traditions are special to your family? Well, we like decorating the Christmas tree during the holidays together and listening to Christmas music. And my mom and I do a lot of the tradition stuff together. So we do a lot of the house decorating during holidays, specifically Halloween and Christmas. Um, and that's just really fun for us to do. And um, my dad and I do adopt a family in December. And um, we usually try to go to Longwood Gardens to see the lights in, in, the, in, in Christmas. So that's fun. Anyway, have you ever tried to make a change for the better at home or at school? Not at school. Um, at home? No. <laughs> that sounds so awful, but it's true. Julie's old meat outfit is so bohemian chic, and I kind of hate it, kind of love it. I don't know how I feel about it. That cap is weirding me out. I love her necklace, though. It says Julie on it. It's really, really cute. Look how cheap. Look how cheap those dolls are. $95. I want that back. <laughs> so nuts her her little table and chairs is super cute only $85 that that just that blows my mind her fondue said it's long since been retired but at the time I thought this was the most expensive thing ever I was like for food well I still think $58 for the truly me stuff is expensive and that's much better than th this in my opinion so whatever <laughs> I'm slightly jealous because I've never been to California and she lives there. Thanks, Julie. Her bike is the cutest thing ever. I love the pictures from AJ catalogs. Look how real the grass looks. I don't know if that's real grass or not, but it looks really, really real. The leaves look pretty real too, but I have a feeling they're not. The tree. In the houses. It's it's so amazing. Julie looks weird there with pigtails. Like her forehead looks really huge. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, fun fact, I actually own this bed now. My friend gave it to me and it's missing the two throw pillows and the um beading. I still have to ask her about that, but it's really, really cool. I'll have to do with, um a video on that. It's Mia's bed now. She really likes it. <laughs> she basically swooped in and was like, where are you putting my bed? And I was like, oh, so you just swoop in and decide to steal her bed. Well, okay. Poor Ivy is retired now. She's so cute. Ivy. Her accessories are still something I would want just because I, I want those earrings. And, and that coin. <laughs> please <laughs> Ivy's new year outfit is really pretty and for Ivy's story it's that's a big thing but it always like killed me how little attention the best friend characters got 
Um, Nellie and Elizabeth are who we got the most. But that's because their story is greatly, greatly intertwined with the others. And so did Emily's, and she got a lot of attention too. So actually, you know what? That I, I take that back. <laughs> I used to think that's so expensive. Now I think that's such a great buy. It's so crazy how that all works. Oh, look! Speak of the devils. <laughs> So you guys can pause this if you want to read it. Have you ever pitched in to support a good cause? Yes, adopt a family. I already went over this. <laughs> and I do um, buy the dolls from AG when I see that they have a charity thing going on, especially around Christmas time. Oh, Molly. Hi, honey. Emily, you're so cute. <laughs> Molly's movie is the best you guys have not watched it, I am telling you, you have to watch it. I love it. The acting it is beautiful. Oh, look, it's Kit. Hi, Kit. Kit's hair is so much longer than, so much shorter now. It's like here. You should kind of like it longer. So cute. Oh, Kit. All right, so if you guys want to read about Kit, you can pause. Have you ever faced tough times and found a way to stay hopeful? I have absolutely faced tough times and no, I managed to lose hope, but that took a couple years. It's hard when you're in the situation I was in. Just saying. They still have these, I think. Actually, no, maybe they don't. So pretty though. Look at the little Christmas. It's so cute, little Christmas tablecloth. I love it. What's that on her tray? Cookies? Oh, they're so cute. I want one. Kit, can I have a cookie? I want a cookie. Oh, yeah, see? Homemade cookies. I want one of those. Oh, wow. Her baking set's $44. Interesting. Actually, that they have, that flower scepter is just like the one Grace has. Except more old, old and timey. Wow, that's interesting, you guys. Very interesting how that is has some similar pieces from Grace's. AM had this winter coat and it was actually really, really cute. I like it. So you don't sell them anymore. I love her holiday dress too, by the way. Her old reporter dress is so adorable. I'm so glad they still sell that. Ruthie, my sweet, sweet Ruthie. Oh, but they have to retire you. I still need to rebuy Ruthie's accessories. That's a shame. Oh my god, with the accessories? Fates. <laughs> I really need Ruthie's holiday dress and her play outfit. Why didn't I get those when I had the chance? Stupid, stupid, stupid. I have her pajamas. They're really, really cute and really nice. And her little, oh my god, her night table is, it was only $29. That is the cutest thing ever. I love that. Her bedtime extras are 19 Wow. That's impressive to me. Her night is so cute. I love that nighty. Grace, you're so cute. Her bed is only $80 there. Oh, you could buy her quilt and pillow separately? I didn't know that you could do that. I still want Kit's reporter set just for that camera. That's so beautiful. That old camera. I love that thing. If I ever get Kit. Oh, wow, Kirsten. Hello, you are dead now. It really just hit me that she's dead. Like, Molly's different because I have her, but I don't have Kirsten. So she's really, really dead in my mind. <laughs> Soon we'll say farewell to Kirsten. No! <laughs> Actually, how do you guys think it's supposed to be said? Kirsten or Kirsten? Because I, like, tend to mix it up. I think it might be Kirsten. I don't know. Have you ever had to make a new home in a strange place? No, because I lived in the same town all my life. But that will happen soon. When I move in a couple of years to Florida. Okay, our kitties are so cute. I just remember those cats because one of my favorite AGTube um, series 
it's no longer in existence. And then, mm, Poison Apple Two One Two. If any of you remember her, I love you because you've been around for as long as I am, and you're probably ancient. But anyway, <laughs> um, she had this amazing series. Um, camp. Um, I don't remember the name of the camp anymore, but it was such a good series. And the ghost was Kirsten, and she had these two little kit cats in the series and it was so good and so well thought out and I would love to have watched that one more time. I can't find it anymore because Poison Apple 212 deleted her channel. Broke my heart. Anyway. Um her bed is only fifty eight dollars. I mean I guess it's not the most intriguing bed at all but still were her dolls separate back then? And her wow So cheap, you guys. There's a quilt for her doll, too. That's cool. Kirsten, you're like us. You have quilts for your dolls and all that lovely stuff. <laughs> oh, wow. That table and chairs is really cute. I love all the, like, floral detailing. Really, really cute. Oh, her birthday outfit. So cute. So cute. I like that dress. I actually have that. I've been meaning to sell it. I've been failing in the eating department. Oh, I love her little table stuff. It's so homey and so cute. I love the little bowl of apples. The little birdie mugs. So cute. Her table's only $58. Wow. Her holiday treats are like literally $10 less than her table. That's nuts. Her St. Lucia outfit. If you, if I said that right. I probably failed. <laughs> oh, that's her holiday gown. Ha ha. Ha ha. Ha ha. Ha ha. Oh well. That wreath is the craziest thing ever. Like, I always thought to myself, like, what would happen if, like, that caught on fire and it was on Kirsten's head? <laughs> like, I'd be so scared. Mm, say farewell to Kirsten. No. Felicity! My oh, no, I'm really going to cry when I see Elizabeth on the second page because Elizabeth was my first doll ever. Felicity was the sixth. And, yeah, it's it's going to be hard. Anyway, oh look, I'm going to have to go back to the time machine one day and record it for you guys. Anyway, I can't believe it. Okay, so you can pause this now. Pause it if you want to read. Have you ever risked a friendship to stand up to your for your beliefs? No, I'm a chicken. <laughs> Although actually as of recently, I've been gaining a voice. That's interesting. Oh, I have this dress. This dress is really beautiful. I really like it. I'm really glad I bought her gala gown. It's one of the, I think it's like the last dress that was released before she was archived. That's so heartbreaking to me. No! My baby. Oh, Elizabeth. Fun fact for you guys, in the book, Elizabeth was a brunette, and nobody really understands why she's a blonde as a doll. It's weird. Oh, Elizabeth, I love you. I love you so much. Look, it's Felicity's, it's Felicity's stable and stuff, and look, it's Penny and Patriot. They're so pretty. The horses are so pretty. I have Elizabeth's um, holiday gown. I wish I had her writing gown just for that coat. That's awesome. Um, I don't have her um, nightgown. I don't have any of their nightgowns, especially Felicity and Elizabeth's because my, like, um, my defense for it was the shift underneath their gowns that they came with, I thought were nightgowns. And I'm completely okay with using them as nightgowns. I don't care. So, you know. <laughs> I didn't have to pay any. I didn't have to pay 48 extra bucks. Josefina, way back when you didn't even get your share of the catalog because you share with Kaya. 
So if you guys want to read this, you can pause. What special traditions have you learned from the women in your family? From the women? Oh, just um, the other day I learned about this Jewish um, holiday they didn't know about. Um, and you make these cookies. And I don't even remember the name of the holiday. But it's really, really cool. And I really like it. And I need to ask my grandmother again so I can look it up and actually read it. It was a really cool holiday. We're going to make the cookies when we come back from, when I come back from Florida next week. I'm really excited for that. And Miss Kaya here also doesn't have a lot of room here. Wow, look at her old accessories. That little purse satchel thing is really cool looking. I really like it. It's cute. Let's see how skin is really quickly. Wow, I love that necklace. It's really pretty. Look at it. I want that necklace. Anyway, again, if you want to pause it. Have you ever had to earn back someone's trust for making a mistake? No, it was always the other way around. <laughs> I never hurt people, okay? That's the thing you need to know about me. I don't intend to it purposefully or even knowledgely most of the time hurt people. They don't, I don't, I don't, I'm never in the, I've never been in a position where I've had to grovel for someone. It's always been the other way around. Oh, wow. It's Krista. Hi, honey. I want to hug you now. You're just in the room over. <laughs> so here's Krista. You can pause. How do you find the courage to face challenging situations? Well, there's a quote that I really, really love, and I'm actually going to insert it right now. So, yes, that is the scenario. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Oh, her snow set's so cute. I was not very interested in Krissa at all, or Sonali, or Gwen. I wasn't interested in, like, anything of theirs while they were released. It was after the fact. <laughs> and that's the downfall that ended up happening. So, this picture, though, was really cute with all the snow and the trees. Really cute. The sweater's probably the cutest. I really like it. You see, there's Sonali and Gwen. Like, nobody really acknowledged how cute and beautiful they were until it was too late. Look how cheap they were, you guys. And now you're lucky if you find them for double that price on eBay. Very, very, very lucky. And I was lucky, one of those lucky people for both circumstances. Very, very lucky. It took a lot of searching. Like, years of searching. That lemonade is the cutest thing ever. Can I have that, please? I love how all the, um... Pieces can be pulled apart like Chris's cake. You can pull apart and have slices. And you can actually have the, lemon, the watermelon slices. And those sandwiches are so cute. Can I have one of those, please? I just want a sandwich. Chris's llama to Starburst. I want that llama. That llama. Chris, I would love to have her llama. Me, I would probably throw a huge fit, but, you know. Finding friendship. When Krista's family moves to a new town, she wants more than anything to find a friend. So when a group of mean girls makes it hard for her to fit in, Krista is faced with the friendship dilemma. Trust Sonali, one of the mean girls who says she wants to be her friend, or side with shy and withdrawn Gwen. Following her grandmother's advice, if you want a friend, be a friend. Krista finds a way to befriend them both. And ta-da! You've got a group of friends. This table's really cute with the, like, thing hanging from it. At the time, I thought $75 for a table was the most expensive thing in the world. I was so wrong. And the party treats are so cute. And the cups are all pretty and polka dotted. I want that dress still. To this day, this dress needs to come into my collection. Actually, I think that would look adorable on Mia. She'd probably murder me if I put that on her. Though. She'd be like, no, 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 anything but that. Just no. I have Chris's pajamas. That's the only outfit besides her meat dress from her collection I own. I love these pajamas. I actually originally bought, bought them for Brandy. And then Krista came in the house and I was like, oh, well, Brandy, Krista just stole your pajamas. And so she's like, well, what am I supposed to wear? And I was like, I'll take you something after you. Actually, I don't think I fully did. 
don't know that I ever got brandy BJ's. Oops. <laughs> I'll have to look at my chart. I really wish I had gotten her swim, her warm up set. Her swim gear, not so much. Her warm up set, absolutely. Look how cute the little I am messenger is. It's the cutest thing ever. Back in the day when girls didn't text, they I am'd each other all the time. It was AIM and MySpace. Seriously, not even joking. That's what it was, you guys. You guys are probably like, what? And I'm like, it's true. I have like 30. Where's this craft studio? This also is so cute. This table is adorable. And the sewing machine looks so realistic. The coloring of it. Like I, it looks like a sewing machine that I have in my basement. But my sewing machine is like a dinosaur. So not quite. It's only $78. And you didn't make you buy the sewing machine separately. Nope. It all came together. It's beautiful. <laughs> uh Back in the days when things were so cheap. Oh, look it. We've got minis and hair studio stuff. I have that Feel Better kit. I bought it around this time, too. And then I have that purple wheelchair. I got the purple wheelchair, like, literally right before they turned it pink. I mean red, like the berry red. It I got it right before then, so it's purple. And I have both Rebecca and Felicity's mini dolls, but only from um when I got it from Costco in a bundle with their book sets. And I really would love to get it cursed in and make her into a Nikki. So Nikki can have American Girl dolls instead of a Betty Baby. That'd be great. Um, probably never will. This is something I would like to do. Um, I've wanted those boots ever since they came out and I never bought them. So heartbreaking. Um, I have those Heelys. They are the best thing ever. Like, this is back home when Heelys were, like, popular and all the kids were wearing them. So, I got those Heelys from Mia, and Mia doesn't wear them anymore. I kind of passed them on to Felicity and Cecile and Kanani. Cecile's wearing them right now, actually. Mainly Felicity usually gets those. But the Heelys are super cool. Heelys are favorite in themselves. Look, it's Alice and Lacey. He talked about Alice and Lacey. What are you up to? Okay. No. Look how cheap. $95. I loved this meat outfit. And I'm really glad that I got Brandy with, you know, this. I love it. And there's a huge tear in this page. Okay. We're going to be careful with it. Oh, wow. Look. They like just came out with 49 and I want to say that it's 37, but I'm probably way wrong. I said, oh, and 39. Wow. And oh no, I don't know her number. Or her number. Oh, 29. I'm still going to get you someday. Is it possible that their pictures are like somehow even less flattering then than they are now? It is like serene. It looks hideous. And one hundred and nine dollars. Why? Oh, that's with earrings. That's wow. I mean, I guess they're only five dollars more now, but that's without earrings. So think about it. Ninety-five. It jumped twenty bucks. Look at all the dollies. Yeah, I think they retired her. She, that's a shame. She's pretty. I remember AM used to get back in her, and I was like, no. I dictated a lot of things back then. No, I'm just kidding. She chose what she wanted. But she did ask for my opinion a lot, and I did for her, too. And I did. Like, we asked each other all the time. I don't want to ask this stuff. Personally, I just have never had that connection. Alison Lacey again. Hey guys, I'm Alison Lacey. What you doing? No, stop. <laughs> A lot of people have 25 too. She's so pretty. Lovely Studios actually, actually recently sold that doll from her collection. Oh, she's pretty. Do they still sell her? 
I don't know that they do. Oh, number four. Oh, she has such a sweet face. I was so unappreciative back then. She's so cute. I mean, I probably still wouldn't get her now, if I'm being honest, but she's so cute. You're cute too. You've green you have the green eyes though. Kind of unnerves me. You're still available. Oh, hi, number 27. I wanted you for the longest time. No, not so much. <laughs> 24 looks really unattractive in that shot and I actually wanted that double I think for a while I don't remember There's the accessories at the time I had a flip phone. I need to find that flip phone. I still have it somewhere. I think it's actually buried in that purse. I have to find it I still have it need to find it Ooh, I wanted this outfit and I was at the American Girl place and I saw it there and I think I meant to grab it and I forgot to grab it and so I don't have this and it's so sad because it looks beautiful on Mia and how I know is because um my cousin has it and I put it on my Mia when we were playing with our dolls when I was at her house and it looks unbelievable on her so I don't know, maybe someday. Very unlikely, though, unfortunately. It was so beautiful. Why didn't I get it back then? And the quality, by the way, stunning. The accessories are pretty worth it. But for $24, not really. Because it comes with the purse for the dolls and the necklace for the dolls and for a necklace for a girl. I don't love the purse that much. Well, actually, yes, I do. But I don't know that it's $24 much. I don't like the necklace as much. My cousin has the purse, too. It's really, really, really cute with the outfit. Oh, I remember this bed. I wanted that bed when it came out. Now I'm just like, why? I don't know. It looks too thrown together for my liking. Probably the quilt. It's only $85 though. I remember a lot of AG tubers have these. A lot of the older ones. I am one of these. So badly. She got them. Wow. That old bathtub. I thought it was so weird. But looking back, it's like authentic AG. Like truly. That robe, that robe is not attractive at all, I'm sorry. I really wish I could say it was, but I don't think it is. Yes, they did at the salon chair back then. Yes, it was the exact same as the one now, except it was blue. Make it blue, make it pink. Well, it's pink now. That old thing, I remember I wanted it. Now looking back, I'm just like, not the best thing ever. It's so plain for me. Um, I just don't see myself liking it. I don't know. Oh, I have this. I got this for Elizabeth because that back in the day, I wanted like all my kids to have like hobbies. Elizabeth was tap dancing. Mia's was ice skating. Nellie was a gymnast. Um, wait, was it a gymnast or a ballerina? I don't know. I never ended up getting the ballerina outfit for somebody. I feel guilty, but you know, Brandy was karate. I think Samantha was a singer Hannah no maybe Hannah was karate because Hannah moved up to kickboxing after a while I don't know they all had hobbies I still have this it's cool I don't really use any of the pieces though sometimes I've used the tights most of all which is funny but anyway that jazz outfit has always been like weird to me this dress was so beautiful, I wanted that, and I never got it. But that's okay, because I think the shimmery fabric of this is really tacky anyway. Not $30 worth. Um, her little riding outfit is so cute. The horse was only $75 back then. Although, I don't really look at horses, so I don't think they're much more than that now. I don't know, correct me if I'm wrong. I don't look at horses. I don't know why. I guess I'm just not a horse girl. 
Oh yeah, I wanted that. Um, I think I wanted the soccer set for Ethan, but I didn't get it. I really wanted that blue two-in-one soccer set for him and Ansley in respect, and um, I didn't get that either. The baseball set is so cool. Game pack, the softball. Like seriously, a boy doll could wear that and play softball. And the bowling set's really cool for people who are bowlers. Like I know um, Whitney from Mommy Me, she's a bowler, but she's like the only person I know who's a bowler. That skateboard outfit's so cute. I really like the um, jacket and the shoes. Everything else, eh, I'm not a tomboy. I wanted that so bad. That scooter was the coolest thing ever. And that pedal hoodie up, it's super cute. Really like it. Oh yes, Brandy was a photographer. That's what Brandy did. Brandy was a photographer. She was obsessed with taking pictures of everything. I have that camera and I have that picture set. Brandy was a photographer, I remember now. And I was gonna get this outfit for her and I never did. But, like, ultimately, I was planning on it. I'm planning on it. And then I ended up not liking it. And then it retired. So, I was like, I don't care. This one, however, I did want. And I never got. And I wanted it and wanted it. And now, looking back, I really don't see why I wanted it. I mean, I guess because it was pink. I had this thing for vests over shirts back in the day. Maybe that was it. I don't know. And apparently, the vest is sewed on. I like it. Oh my gosh, it was $38 even back then? What? Jeez. I use this TV, this um, stand backdrop thing now as a TV for the Barbies now. Fun fact. It's very great. It's a huge TV. Oh, all the pets. I still want honey. Someday, honey. Someday. And meatloaf, but meatloaf isn't in here because meatloaf didn't come out yet. Coconut's really cute too. Look at coconut. It's so cute little coconut. Yeah. I wanted sugar because the bow. <laughs> oh, I just like no. Liquor is so cute. Oh yes. I wish I had gotten this jacket looking back. I really do. Oh that's there's a dog sled. Oh right there, duh. That snowboarding set's really cool looking. And this actually is very non-pink and very realistic. And I really like it. I'm impressed. But of course, then you have to buy those. Typically, G, even like seven years ago. Oh my god, I'm old. <laughs> I'm so old. I do have this. I'd get it off eBay, but I have this. Alice and Lacey was just wearing this up until like a couple days ago when I filmed a surprise video. I'm not going to tell you guys about. Actually, this was re-released with the um, ski chalet. That mug, it was in the ski chalet. Cool. I was like, I know I recognize that mug. The backdrop for this though. Incredible. Look, it's a fake speed cabin. That TV was the best thing ever. And of course, I never saw it in person. And I wanted it, of course. As did everybody. Not many people I know have it. But when you look at how cheap it was. Oh, no. no. When you look at how cheap it is, I thought it was the most expensive thing ever. $40 for a TV? Like, hello. If you were to choose between a $40 TV and a $30 outfit with a snowboarding thing, I would absolutely have picked the TV. Thank you. I still want the Sweet Melody outfit. So badly. That was one that I always wanted and never got. Now it's still one I want. <laughs> And I want the sleepover set because I really want those drinks. They're so pretty. And I want the pizza. Can I eat the pizza? Actually, that looks delicious. And it actually 
actually is br it breaks. Oh, type the pizza. I'll pay you for the pizza. I don't know your name, but I'll pay you for pizza. And there's a chair. It's only twenty two dollars. Just the prices are just unbelievably cheap. I it it it. Uh, I wish. Ah, uh, and like half the outfits on here, I want. I want the Pine the Pine Lake Camp outfit. I remember I gave this to AM for one of her birthdays. She loved it. I want that outfit. Preferably for the shorts. That's why I keep wearing shorts, shorts, shorts. But yeah, this outfit. I want the wilderness outfit for sure. At the time, I thought it was hideous. I love it now. Same with that one. I don't want the yoga one. I want, I've always wanted this one. Ever since Steven's Wood Dancer got it. Why is it so rare and expensive? I just I just need you now. Yep, there you go. Horrible singing for you guys, presented by me. Um I have that outfit. I love it. It looks beautiful on 41. I was about to say 44. I was like, that's not her number. I wanted that. I think that's the one. No, the one I wanted had like a bag on it. Oh, yeah, there it is. It's just not shown. The ballet bag is not shown. I wanted that one so badly. I don't remember. Did I end up getting that? She might have. I really sometimes think about what AEM is going to do with all her stuff. I'm just like, can I just inherit all your stuff, please? The babies! Back to when they didn't have eyebrows the way babies should be. Babies don't have eyebrows. Look, it's Kylie! Hi, Kylie! Oh, you're so cute. I could just... Oh, I want to hug my Kylie and squeeze her and give her kisses and she would scream. But, um, no, I'm just kidding. She'd laugh. She loves her mommy. I'm like, somebody! Oh, the baby... Bitty bear! Oh! Baby teach when Bitty bear existed. Actually, it's not Thursday. Well, you know what? Throw back to when Bitty bear existed. The end. I wanted this outfit. Never got it. I really wanted that outfit for Ansley. It's so cute. Never got it. Really love those that robe and the nightgown. Never got those either. Betty Baby had taken a back seat by then for sure. For the most part. Look at the cute little baby toys. And I just hiccuped. I remember those rings. I don't think babies use those much anymore. I remember them. Hashtag 90s kid. So cute. I remember that set. I think it still exists. I'm not sure. So cute. Fun fact, whenever um, my friend from Instagram, my bet, one of my, literally, like, my best friend ever, like, that I met on Instagram and online, if I ever go to, if we ever go to the American Girl place together, we are getting these Betty Twins because we really look alike in real life. It's really weird. We've met each other in real life. And um, we're going to get a set of Betty Twins. And I'm going to keep the boy and name it after him. And then he's going to keep the girl and name it after me. And then we we'll see each other. They'll bring the bitty twins and they'll meet up with each other and they'll be able to have twins and have matching outfits and be twins. And it'll be the cutest thing ever. It's going to be fun. It's going to be so fun. We, we're going to pick them out at American Girl Place together. It's going to be so fun. We're going to each buy half of it. So, like, I'm going to buy one twin and he's going to buy the other twin and we'll, like, pay for the whole set. It's going to be really, really cute. It's going to be the best thing ever. Oh, God. Too bad we didn't meet seven years ago because look how cheap they are then. They're more expensive. Five more dollars expensive than AGs now. It's nuts. I thought those outfits were the cutest thing ever. No, I don't know what I was thinking. I would never put those pants on Ethan. Probably would never put those that, that thing on Ethan either. That, that, no, just no. I liked the side by side stroller, but I have the one. That goes like up and down. Although actually I think I just got rid of it recently. I'm not so excited to use it. Oops. 
Oh, I wanted those Christmas pajamas. I talked myself about it because I was like, oh, hello, Ashley. Christmas is once a year. Look how cute. Little trundle bed. Oh my god, look how cheap. Oh, it's so cute. I wanted that. I love the flower pillow and how like the thing has a flower pot and like it it, it, it like it matches. It's the cutest thing ever. I wanted those so badly, specifically this one for Ethan. And actually, I would still love to have that outfit. Jingham pants set. And I wanted that for Ansley. That little shrug is so cute. Loved it. Oh, so cute. Look at the little ruffle hood. Look at the little ruffle knit legging leg warmers. So cute. Oh, it has an owl on it. <gasps> wait, 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 wait. Fa camera fail. But look, 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 look at the owl. That's an even bigger fail. Okay, wait. We are going to get the camera. Focus. And then we're going to... It's an owl. You guys. Um, I think I just fell in love with that. <laughs> Look, it's owls. It's birds. And I need that dress now. Oh, no. <laughs> Well, what's this one? Now that one has birdies on it. Oh, I want those so badly. Look at the little flats, too. <gasps> oh, no. <laughs> that one right there, ladies and gents. I just fell in love. And that. And I have to make sure before I turn it that my address is not displayed. If it's on the back. It's not on the back. I wanted those, too. I did. I didn't get them. All right, you guys. Well, this is the longest catalog review ever, but I was taking a trip down memory lane, and you guys should know by now that all I do is talk. And if you wanted an in-depth review, you got it. This has got to be like 50 minutes long. You're welcome. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and uh, yeah, I'll see you soon.